Pivot is a really fun app that's perfect for anyone who wants to learn about computer animation or just have a bit of fun on a boring day. You start off with this little stick guy who has a series of joints which you can manipulate by clicking and dragging your mouse. Okay, kick off by getting him into the start position that you want. You can move the little fellow around by clicking and holding the orange circle here and dragging him. If you like, you can scale your stick man by altering this figure here. Moving it up will make him bigger and down will shrink him. Click the colour button to choose a colour for the man. I think we'll go for blue for now. OK, now we're ready to get this dude moving. When everything is in place, hit the next frame button to create the second frame of your animation. Now you need to move the parts of the stick man you want to animate in the next frame. The basic rule of animation is that the more gradual the changes you make between each frame, the smoother the animation will be. So just tweak the bits that you're moving and click the next frame button when you're done. Now repeat this process for as many frames as you need in order to get your character to do whatever it is you want him to do. Move the limbs little by little each time, clicking the next frame button every time. The guides that appear behind the image are very useful as they show you the position of the man in the previous frame. OK, so let's just keep on adding movements like this and we'll see what you get. It's actually very therapeutic doing this. Uh, I feel a little bit like Walt Disney. OK then, so there we have it. Your first animation with Pivot when you click play. When you're done, you can export your animation as a Pivot file, a GIF or a bitmap. Just choose Save Animation from the File menu and select the file type you want to save it as. OK, so now that animation is done, you can start playing around with Pivot and using some of the more advanced options in the program. OK, uh, happy animating and I'll see you again next time. Bye.